Welcome! Today we will be combining strength and stretch in a full body workout. Remember this is your practice. Set an intention, take breaks, and use modifications such as blocks or bending your knees. Don't forget to breathe through more challenging postures. I am so thankful that you are here today. Let's start in a tabletop position, keeping wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and press back now into a child's pose, feeling a nice stretch here through the shoulders, breathing, inhale and exhale as you set your intention for your practice today. Nice deep breath, letting that belly rise and fall with each breath, rounding through and letting your hips fall to the mat, keeping shoulders pressed down into a cobra posture. Releasing back down and pressing back once again into child's pose. Breathe and roll through. Release. Cobra posture. Good. Coming back down to the mat and pressing back and through child's pose. Once again, roll through, hips down, press mat away, cobra, release, roll through, and child's pose. Feeling a nice stretch as you round through, hips down, press mat away, cobra. Good, and then go ahead and take a moment to look over one shoulder. And then the other shoulder, just feeling a nice stretch here. Once again, rounding back up into a tabletop. So placing those hands underneath the shoulders, knees under hips, round through cat and cow. Exhale cat as you round and tuck the chin. Inhale cow as you drop the belly looking up towards the sky. Cat and cow, feeling the opening in the chest, and cat, and cow. Inhale as you reach the left arm nice and high, bringing it underneath the right armpit, feeling that nice stretch. You can choose to stretch your right arm up towards the top of the mat. Left cheek to the mat, breathe, keeping the hips nice and even here. Inhale and exhale. Good, and slowly start to press yourself back up into that tabletop, moving through cat and cow here just for a moment. Good, exhale and inhale. Exhale here, rounding and inhale, expanding. And round, expand. Good, now this time reaching right arm up and underneath left armpit, reaching left fingertips towards the top of the mat. Right side of the face is resting on the mat, keeping the hips nice and square. Inhale and exhale and threaded needle. Breathing nice and deep here. Good, and then go ahead and come back up once again. Good, tucking the toes and lifting the hips, finding your first downward facing dog. Begin to stretch and move and breathe through this posture. Inhale and exhale as you feel the lengthening through the back of the legs. Slowly start to walk your hands back towards your feet, keeping your knees bent. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, thumbs to heart center. Inhale, reaching hands, swan dive down. Placing hands on the mat, walking out to a strong high plank. Shoulder taps here, right and left for eight. And seven, six, separate the feet if you need to. Four, three, two, good, and one, right and left. Excellent, walking hands back to feet. Root to rise, inhale, reach, thumbs to heart center. Inhale, reaching tall, swan dive down, walking hands out once again. Shoulder taps for eight, right and left, seven, six, keep breathing, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Go ahead and bring hips high. Walk hands in towards feet. Root to rise. Inhale. Thumbs down to heart center. Inhale, reaching tall. Swan dive down. Good. Bringing the hands to the mat. Just a forward fold here. Letting those head hang heavy. Feeling the stretch in the back of the legs. Walking the hands all the way out, finding a nice high plank. Good, breathing as you lower knees, chest, chin, up to cobra, lower down, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale here as you feel the stretch. Roll through like an ocean wave and press back into downward facing dog. Rolling through, pressing back two more times rolling through, feeling the movement in the spine, pressing back. Last time, roll through and hold. Eight leg lifts, seven on the right side, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Bringing the feet in towards the hands. This time, top of the mat, inhale. Thumbs heart to heart center, reaching tall, swan dive down. Placing hands down on the mat, walking feet back, right and left. Good, and lowering chaturanga or caterpillar, upward facing dog or cobra. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog, breathing and roll through plank, press back downward dog. Three more times, roll through plank, press back downward facing dog. Roll through plank, pressing back, good, rolling through, nice leg lifts on the other side here, eight, right from the glutes, seven, six, keep hips low, five, four, three, two, and one, good, walking feet in towards hands, root to rise, inhale, reaching tall, Thumbs to heart center. Inhale, reach as you swan dive down. Bringing hands to mat, walking back into a nice strong plank. Lowering chaturanga or caterpillar, cobra or upward facing dog. Tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Hold and breathe here. Good, now rolling through into your plank. We're gonna come into a chaturanga. You can be on your knees or knees are up, keeping the arms tight by the chest and pressing the upper body up and releasing down. Good, pressing the upper body and release. Press up and release. Pressing up and release. Good, keep going. Nice, now pressing back into your downward facing dog. Walk feet into hands. Root to rise as you inhale, bringing hands together. Good, and coming into your chair. Hips are low, belly button to spine, inviting the tailbone under, shoulders are pressed down. Good, and diving forward. Good, half lift here. And lower down. Bringing the hands to the mat, coming into a warrior one, right leg back. Hips are square, reaching towards the sky. Inhale and exhale, diving forward. Bringing both feet to plank, chaturanga caterpillar, cobra upward facing dog, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Good, now bringing right leg back forward, left leg back this time. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Inhale and exhale. Breathing nice and deep, diving forward. Good, bringing left leg to meet right. Coming into your chair, chair squats here for eight. Squeeze and breathe, seven. Good, sitting back in a chair for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold and breathe. Good, diving forward. Hands to shins, half lift. 
lowering down, bringing the hands to the mat, walking back, this time left leg, right leg is forward, warrior one. Hips and shoulders are aligned, shoulders are pressed down and breathe. Diving forward, bring both legs back, chaturanga or caterpillar, flowing it out to press into a downward facing dog. Good, this time left leg forward, right leg back, hips are square, breathing, good. Bringing right leg to meet left chair, again, squats for eight, nice and low, seven, not letting your knees come over your toes, good, five, four, squeeze, good, squeeze it up, two, and one, excellent. Coming down to hold for just a moment and diving forward. Walk it out, root to rise, inhale, reach. Thumbs to heart center, inhale up nice and tall. Swan dive forward, half lift here and lower down. Walking back, finding a nice strong high plank, lower through chaturanga or caterpillar. Cobra or upward facing dog, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog, right leg nice and high in a three-legged dog. Bring it all the way through, bringing your hands to your hips in a high lunge, eight lunge squats here. Good, reaching tall and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, excellent. Opening up the arms, little pulses here with arm circles. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Coming forward, keeping that left leg lifted or toe to mat. We're gonna be doing our knee raises, pressing back and lowering the upper body. Now you can bend your knee here Good, or bring your hands to a block, knee lifts. Extra challenge, keeping the toes off the mat as you reach towards that front leg. Knee comes up, press it back, lower down. Good, hold and knee comes high. Keep balancing, press it back, lower the upper body and then reaching back into your high plank Good, and heel toe that right leg all the way out to a lizard posture. So whether you're high or low, knees up or down, forearms to the mat, you can use a block here. Breathe and stretch in the hip flexors. Good, keep breathing, keep feeling that stretch through the hip flexor and the hip, pressing hands into mat, bringing that right leg to meet left in a high plank, Good, press back into a downward facing dog. Walk feet into hands, root to rise, inhale, reach, and thumbs to heart center. Inhale, reaching, swan dive down. Bring hands to shins and lower down. Walking feet back, lowering chaturanga caterpillar, cobra or upward facing dog, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog, left leg nice and high in a three-legged dog. Bring the foot between the hands, finding your high lunge, reaching up, lunge squats here for eight. Good, and seven, bringing that knee to the mat, six, five, four, hips are square, three, two, and one, reach it tall, good, pulses here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now a balancing posture, bringing your arms to the front, dipping down so fingers touch the mat, with a knee raise here to the front, shoot right leg back, Remember, you can keep your toes on the ground if you wish. Raise the knee, leg goes back, touch the mat, raise the knee, leg goes back, 
touching the mat. Knee raise here, shoot it back into a high lunge, hold. Good, diving forward. Coming into the lizard posture on the opposite side, left thigh open. Feeling that stretch through the hip, inhaling and exhaling, elbows can come to mat or you can keep your arms up high. You can bring your arms to a block if you wish. Breathe here, holding and breathing. Excellent, keeping that leg off the mat, the back leg or keeping the knee down. And go ahead and press up through your hands shooting left leg to meet right, downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale, walk feet in towards hands, root to rise, inhale, reach, and bring the thumbs to heart center. Good, just take a moment here to catch your breath. Inhale and exhale, reaching up tall and swan dive down. Hands to shins, half lift and lower down. Bringing the feet back, finding high plank, going through your flow, and pressing back into a downward facing dog. Roll through into a high plank here. Now we're going to go into our kick throughs. So pressing the left leg up, kicking right leg through, and coming back into our plank three more times. Kick through, pressing back. Good. Left leg forward, kick through right. Both legs come together. Last time, kicking through and press back high plank. Good. So now we're gonna bring our knee to our elbow here. Good, we can also have the option of bringing the knee down and knee to elbow. So either way for four, bring it in and press back. And three, pressing back. Two, press back and one, Excellent, coming back. Finding a side plank or a modified side plank, knee comes down, reaching under and up for four. Reaching under and up for three. Under and up for two, keep breathing. Under and up for one, hold. Excellent, coming high, plank. Good, press back into a child's pose. Taking some nice deep breaths here. You can rotate the wrists out if you want, letting that belly fall through the thighs and then roll up. Let's take an ocean wave here, just rolling the wrists, giving them a little bit of a break, and then stretching once again. Rolling through, tuck toes, lift hips, downward facing dog. Walk feet in towards hands, root to rise, inhale, reach, and thumbs to heart. Inhale, reach and swan dive down. Bring hands up and lower down. Walking feet back, finding a strong high plank. Once again, chaturanga or caterpillar, cobra or upward facing dog to a downward facing dog. Breathing nice and deep. Remember our kick throughs on this side. So right leg steps forward, kick left through. Excellent, two more, press, and kick back to plank. Last one, kick through, back to plank. Good, knee to elbow here for four, pressing back. Three, good, two, and one, excellent. Side plank or a modified side plank, reaching tall. Right leg, arm comes under for four, and three, two, and one, last one here. Reaching up and over, find your high plank. Hold, knees come down, child's pose, breathe. Stretching the fingertips towards the top of the mat. Inhale and exhale. Good, nice deep breaths here rolling forward and we're going to swing our legs around to find a seated forward fold. So remember, inhale, reach, spine is long, leading with the chest, coming towards your feet, 
breathe and release, feeling the stretch in the back of the legs here, inhaling and exhaling. Inhale and exhale. Rolling up, seated twist, crossing left over right, hugging in that right knee maybe, bringing the elbow up and over the thigh and looking over the left shoulder. Shoulders are pressed down so neck is nice and long. Inhaling and exhaling in the seated twist. Keep breathing here and slowly come out, stretching the legs forward. Once again, seated forward fold, inhale and exhale into your forward fold, lengthening a little bit deeper this time. Inhale and exhale. Slowly sit up. Twisting now in the opposite direction, so bringing right leg over left, left elbow to the right thigh, and right arm at the base of the spine, looking over the right shoulder. Feeling a nice twist here through the torso. Breathing, inhale and exhale. Good. Begin to release. And coming to a seated cobbler's pose so the bottoms of your feet to touch hips out wide and if you'd like you can bend forward bringing your forehead to the feet maybe not you can also use your elbows to help open those thighs even more feeling a nice stretch here in the hips slowly begin to come up and our last posture of well-deserved Shavasana. Slowly, slowly begin to lower yourself to the mat. Good, letting your thighs fall open, feet relax, letting your stomach relax and shoulders are open wide, chest is relaxed, the lines around your forehead and your eyes and your mouth begin to relax. Tongue off the roof of your mouth and let your lips part slowly and breathe. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, telling your body it's time to wake up. Good, maybe giving yourself a nice little stretch overhead before you come into a fetal position on one side. When you're ready, press up to a seated posture, grounding through those sit bones. Inhale, reaching hands and stretch to one side. Good. Inhale, reaching up and stretch to the other side. Good. Rest your hands on your thighs. The challenges we face in life are always lessons that serve our soul's growth. Thank you for joining me today. If you want more practices similar to this style, be sure to like this video.